This is Higher Homework 11 and we're looking at question 7. Uh, we've got two points A and B. Uh, let's see, S divides AB internally in the ratio of 3 to 1 and T divides AB externally in the ratio of, three, ratio of 3 to 1. Find the coordinates of S and T and then have to show a relationship exists or a ratio exists that's there. Right, let's first of all go with uh, part A and we'll look at uh, the coordinates of S first of all. So if I'm to draw a line up that represents this here, what I've got is I've got A here, I've got B here, okay? And I know that S divides AB internally in the ratio of 3 to 1. So let's say that that's somewhere about there, okay? So that's going to be 3 to 1. So that's going to be A to S in that direction and S to B. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set up a relationship or a, a, a kind of fraction ratio if you want to look at it that way. So A to S is going to be 3, S to B is going to be 1 in the same direction. So cross multiplying that would tell me that uh, AS is equal to 3SB. From there what I can do is I can use the, the vectors and try to get the components from there. So this is going to be S minus A is equal to, and what I've got is I've got a 3 times, and that's going to be B minus S. Multiply this side out first of all. That's going to be 3B minus 3S, and what we'll do is we'll gather all the S's onto this side here. So 4S is going to be equal to 3B plus A. Right, so what I'll do then is I'll substitute my values into this side, gather that together, divide it by 4, and that should give me the component vector of uh, S, and from there I'll just get the coordinates. Okay, right, so 3 times, and the coordinates of B, 1, 0, 2, plus coordinates of A in component form, 1, 4, 6. What we'll do is gather them, so it's going to be 3, 3 plus 1 is going to give me 4. 0, and that's going to be another 4 that's there, and 3 times 2 is 6, plus 6 is going to give me 12, okay? So that's what 4s is equal to. So let's see, I'll just divide that then by 4. So s is going to be equal to 1, 1, and 3. And so the point s, coordinate-wise, is going to be 1, 1, 3. So there's the point s. Right, let's now look at it from the point of, it's not part B, sorry, that's going to be, we're going to look at T now. So let's draw up the line for T. It's going to be slightly different because it's externally. So let's start from A to B, which will be there. So A to B, and remember this is going to be in that direction. And externally, what I've got is, if I just add on another one there, that'll be T out here somewhere, okay? So the distance that I would have from T all the way back here to A, that there, not in that direction, sorry, that direction there, that there, that's going to be 3 because it's a ratio of 3 to 1 and it's externally. And if I look at T to B going in that direction there, what that will be, that will be a negative 1 that will go in there. So when I set up the ratio the same way as I've done here, I'm going to use a, a negative 1 that's going to be in here. So starting off, I'll go for AT, first of all, all over TB, and that's going to give me a 3 there and a minus 1 there, just a 3 and a minus 1, just in the opposite direction because it's uh, externally. Right then, let's go and uh, multiply this out, so I've got minus AT as a vector, and that's going to be 3TB as a vector. Right then, so what I've got is minus T minus A. It's equal to 3 times B minus T. From there, I'll just multiply this out. So that'll give me minus T plus A is equal to 3B minus 3T. And gathering the T's, it's the coordinate T that I'm trying to work out, T to this side here. So 3 coming over being positive, so that'll be 2T. It's going to be equal to 3B minus A. And there, that's me, got me started. And what I can do is I can put in my values now for B. So B is going to be 102 minus A, which is 146. What I'll do is I'll just calculate that out. That's going to be 3. 3 minus 1 is going to be 2. 
I've got 0 and that's minus 4 going to be there. That's going to be 6, 6 minus 6, so that's going to be, let's see, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 minus 6. That should give me a 0. What we'll then do, that's, uh, remember that's 2t, so t is going to be this here divided by 2, so that should give me 1 minus 2, 0. In component form, but then in coordinate form, and there we have it there, 1 minus 2, 0. So that's we got the, the points, the points uh, S and the point T. Right, so we'll then go on to part B. And part B we're going to show that AB uh, to ST is in a ratio of 4 to 3. Okay, so let's go for that. Let's just go for AB uh, and the ratio to ST. And what we'll try and do is work that through. So I know I've got B minus A, and the ratio here is going to be T minus S. What I'll do is I'll substitute my uh, components in as uh, component form. So B is going to be 102. Let's see, 102 from up at the top there. And I'm going to subtract A from that, which will be 1. Four, six. And the ratio that I'm trying to show is going to be for S, which is, let's see, that's going to be T first of all, and that's going to be 1 minus 2, 0. Subtracting S, which is 1, 1, 3. Okay, let me just go and check that. So that's right, that's right there. So B is going to be 1, 0, and 2 that should come from there. Yep, that's right, okay. Right, so let's gather this together the way it is. 1 minus 1 is going to be 0 on the top there. 0 minus 4, that'll give me a minus 4. 2 minus 6 will give me another minus 4 on the bottom. So there, that's what I've got at this side. And what I have here is I've got 1 minus 1 is 0. That's going to give me a minus 3. 0 minus 3 is another minus 3 that's there. So I can see there that the ratio is looking like um, it's going to be 4 to 3. So all I can say there is that that ratio there is already in that form 4 to 3, so that would be it. So AB test T is equal to a 4 to 3 relationship. And that's that complete. Okay, so let's see the marking for this question here. So let's go for setting this up here. So making sure that we understand the situation there. I'll get one mark for, let's go for here. One mark for this one here, getting what 4s is equal to, and I'll get a mark for this one here. Setting up this relationship and going for this part here and the coordinates coming out there as well. So that's six marks already. Working out the uh, the ratio, come down to this form here, and the final statement there. So this question here, I'll be given nine marks.